Welcome back to Plum Daily. I'm Robin Moreno coming to you from Care of the Maidstone here in East Hampton, where shortly we're going to see the lighting of the Christmas tree, what we've all been waiting for. But right now, I'm joined by the owner of this gorgeous establishment. I love this hotel, Jenny Youngberg, who is Swedish, though. So lighting the Christmas tree, that's distinctively American. But Swedes must have some cool holiday, holiday traditions, because you guys are pretty stylish. We are, and we have two very interesting traditions. The first one is the Glug tradition, which is what we're here to celebrate today. And Glug is a warm mold one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a bit like the glue vine, uh -huh. uh, except that in Sweden you drink it throughout the month of December only. So oh, Swedes get very excited about it. Uh -huh. You know, we gear up the whole year for this thing. You drink it with almonds and raisins in little silly baby cups. Yeah, and you have to drink a lot, you know, because you get excited about it. All right, it. she said we have to do. drink a lot. <laughs> but you, but you can not drink it in January nope. or November. Absolutely not. This is only one month that you can drink yes. the glug. It's the only month that we serve it here. So if you drink it like in January, very passe. Faux yeah. pas, I'm just saying, right? <laughs> Absolutely. So later on in the show, um, bartender Steven is going to show us how to make a glug. Mm -hmm. And so what are very some special. other fun uh, Swedish traditions that we should know about? We have another one called Santa Lucia, which is a fabulous one. We celebrate an Italian saint who was burnt up the stake. It's a little random, but we, <laughs> sell, but we do. Yeah. So uh, every year on December 13th, mm -hmm. you will have a procession of girls and boys uh -huh. who line up with long white frocks, and they have live candles in their hair. They have candles? in their hair? How is that possible? It's a huge fire hazard throughout the country and yet we do it. Yeah, you have a steel rod like Maybe this. like after a lot of the log, it's yeah. like not a problem. <laughs> With candles all over, and uh, they stay because of the steel rod. And uh, you know, you turn off all the lights, and the girls and the boys walk throughout the restaurant or your home or whatever, sing beautiful songs, have a candle like this, and then they recite some poems, and then you serve, you know, glug and cinnamon buns and things like that, which we'll be having here tonight too. Oh my goodness! Well, that sounds lovely and beautiful. And you said that next year that you guys might actually have a procession here, right? Yes, we will yeah. have it here. So please do come if you're interested on December 12th here for the tree lighting I ceremony. I love the we'll year RSVP. It. Put it in your uh, planners now. <laughs> Absolutely. You have a year to say yes. And um, one thing that I really love, I don't know if it's tra tradition or not, but you have an am you have amazing um, uh, clogs. clogs. Yeah. <laughs> they are a bit like the Australian clogs, but they're the Swedish clogs. And you can sell and you sell yeah. them here, so people can mm -hmm. buy them as a gift. And we'll thank for you. men, women, and children. All right, for something for everyone. Uh, well, thank you so much. And right now, we're going to show you how we celebrate Christmas, Christmas all over uh, the Plum Stations. As you know, we have eight markets from Aspen to Miami. So this is how we celebrate Christmas Plum style. Check it out.